we're wrapping it up now. Sounds good. So we're getting a sour shop here for a couple of bucks. A few of these which aren't ready yet, but they will be. And they're very sweet. They have no hair in them. They're good mangoes. And then some, uh, I think we got some Tahitian, Tahitian lime, leaves, yeah. and um, we'll be paying up and heading out. Mostly that's there. How much do I owe you now? We have mango. Mango. Tahitian. Tahitian lemon, yeah. Five? Okay. Well, that's about good, because I got chick left, so we're done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How are you too? Alright. Here. So now we'll head out of the market here. Even though it's still going strong, as you can see, and it's going to keep going. Um, and to try to get reorganized a little bit. They also have young coconut here, which I don't feel like today. We have some in the backyard now, but um, they have one. So we can take it in picture of the box here in case I send you guys out here. And you can see you find them in a little cooler like this, and then you get them to cut them open for you. So I just don't feel like it right at the moment. But, um, yeah. I can't say I'm sick of coconut. It's just a momentary thing. I'm going to eat these right now. So here we are after reorganizing all the fruits and veggies. We went back in and took care of Valentine's. So uh, one never says what one pays for Valentine's, but I have to tell you, this is six bucks. That's sick, okay? Um, and of course, these are grown like right around the corner. And then she asked if uh, we're going far, and I said, well, we're going. And she goes, oh, okay. So she brings out the bucket and throws some more water in there. Off we go. So I guess Valentine's is ready. A uh, wonderful way to use tea leaf around the, uh, the pot. So it grows everywhere, but these are really nice white tea leaves. This is the stuff that we saw the taro leaf, and you put the food inside and wrap it up in taro, and then you wrap it up in these, and then you steam it. So the, these are very useful for many things. I, I like to use for vases, so it's pretty cool, no? And they last forever. Well, not forever, but for a long time. So anyway, happy Valentine's. Failed to mention. Uh, for those who don't know, and I, I wouldn't know until a couple of years ago myself, so I'm not being arrogant. And this is anthurium, so they're grown here. And there's orchids here, white orchid. We have a ginger here. Heliconia here. And the tea leaf I mentioned already. Um, and then, okay, then we have these guys, which I'm actually not sure what we call these, but that's the only one. And this is a very interesting anthurium here. And uh, so that's that. And I don't know what these are. We're just standing here. Anyway, happy Valentine's. The heart-shaped flower. Just in time for Valentine's. No, salad. Salad. Yeah. Wow, look at the torch ginger here. And more heliconia. So if you're mad at your husband or your boyfriend, you can either choose a piece of sugar cane or just pick up the good old piece of heliconia and you can take care of it. <laughs> huh? Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, that's the thing. So we're just debating here whether to, whether to bang up your boyfriend with uh, with sugar cane or with a heliconia stem. Yeah, no, wait, you have and, to uh, hold on Yeah, see, there we there go. go. Now we've got choices. Now, can no, you hold that for me? <laughs> We're having a little discussion about what's better. Sugarcane. Sugarcane will be much more effective. More effective. I, I would agree. It's, it's heavier, it's, it's denser, and it's just, it's just meaner. And if you use a flower, I would feel sorry for the flower. <laughs> See, that's the thing. Yeah, I agree with you completely. What a discussion on Valentine's, huh? Happy Valentine's to everyone. <laughs>